Hey everybody, this is Joseph from Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you how to use a few different tools to make um, a zebra pattern on whatever graphic you want. In this example, I'm going to make it uh, a font. I'm going to take a font and make a zebra pattern on it. And you can do this for vinyl or if you want to stone it later on, you can use it for rhinestones. So a customer sent uh, me a graphic uh, bitmap uh, or a JPEG of, of a zebra pattern and they want to know how they could do it using this. So in Oobling, the first thing I'm going to do is vectorize this. So I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go to posturize and I'm going to tell it it's only two colors. And then what it's going to do is it I narrowed it down to two colors, even though it was already two colors to begin with, and then I'm going to vectorize. Click the button and it's done. So now I have, and actually I'll turn off the fill so you can see that this one is the vectorization and this is the original bitmap. So right now what I want to do is uh, I want to ungroup it so I can throw away the frame. I really don't need that frame. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that part and throw it away. So you just see the, the zebra pattern. And now I'm going to go ahead, I'll group it again. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So now that it's a vector, I can uh, make it as big as I want. And like I said, so what I'm going to do is uh, show the fill back on. Oops. So you guys can see what it looks like. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, I'll just use our initials, S17. And collegiate font is perfectly fine. This here, let's say I want it to be, uh, let's go 12 inches wide, something like this. So it's going to fit in there. Actually, I can go a little bigger. It doesn't really matter the size for this example. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this color. So that way you can see the, 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 the kind of what I'm doing in each step. And what I want to do is, this fits perfectly in there, so I'm going to have this pattern running through uh, th these letters here, these letters and numbers. So I'm going to make a copy of that and move it down here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to make it another color. So first thing I want to do is take this, uh, take the, the object that I want to have the pattern in it, and I'm going to move it to the back by hitting Control B or Arrange, Order, and to back. And same thing with this one, control B to the back. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to actually weld it. And when I weld it, you didn't see anything happen, but in reality, it punched through the letters there. So I'm going to go over here and double click this uh, color just to select it, just so I can move it off of it. And then I'm going to grab this one. And instead of the regular weld, I'm going to use the and weld. And you see it made this pattern here. So I want to group this up. I want to group this up. And then I'm going to take this one and this one. And I'm going to center it and align it. And it came out perfect. And that's how you would do a zebra pattern. And so if you want, what you would do is um, you can send each color. Let's say it was vinyl. You could send the red to the vinyl and uh, cut out the red and then cut out the black and then mix them together or if you're doing stoning then you can go to your tools and stone and do a fill and fill this one in and fill this one in and bring them together so this process uh, could be done with anything it doesn't have to be letters and numbers it could be a uh, picture it could be uh, anything square star anything and then you just bring in the pattern and it doesn't have to be a zebra pattern either any pattern you like you can bring in vectorize it and apply the same uh, techniques to it so I hope this helped thanks